Hey, what's going on? My name is Jonah Fox, and in today's video, I wanna help you decide which harmonica you should buy first if you're just getting started on the instrument, or maybe give you some ideas of other harmonicas you can try if you've been playing for a little bit. First, you should know that there are three main types of harmonicas, tremolo, chromatic, and diatonic. Tremolo is pretty basic, it just has a cool sound. This can be fun to mess around with, but I view it as kind of a gimmick. Chromatic is a very deep instrument where you play these sharp and flat notes by hitting this button on the side. It's less expressive than the other harmonicas, but it is easier to play chromatically. So if you're into jazz or classical music, then this one is really good for you. I don't teach chromatic myself, but a good starter chromatic is the Honer CX-12 that I'm showing here. Then we come to diatonic harmonica. These harmonicas are probably what you want, especially if you wanna play folk, blues, or rock music. The rest of this video will be focused on the diatonic harmonica. So if you're picking up a diatonic harp, you're going to need to have a couple things in mind. You're gonna to need to pick a key, you're going to need to choose the model of the harmonica, and sometimes you might even have to choose the tuning as well. So let's go through these things. The standard tuning is called Richter tuning. You may see other tunings like the Penta harp. I suggest you stick with the original. There's a reason why it's stuck around for so long and most of the lessons you're going to find are also for the original tuning. Next we have the key. Most online lessons are in the key of C, so you should start with a C harmonica and then branch out to other harmonicas like G, a, B flat, and D over time. Getting all 12 really isn't necessary to start. All you need is one to play. And if you wanna learn more about keys, then you can check out a recent video. I will link it down below in the description. As far as the model goes, I'll let you into my thinking and tell you three things that I look for in a harmonica. Number one, is it airtight? Number two, is the design comfortable? And number three, is the comb made of the right material? Starting with the first question, it's hard to tell the setup of a harmonica before you try it, so you can really only follow some general patterns. Harmonicas under $40 can often be unreliable and not airtight, so I would stay away from cheap harps like the Fender Blues Deluxe. If you spend about $40 or more, you will hopefully get something that you like. Though if you do get a harmonica that you are unhappy with the setup of, if some of the holes are you know, very airy, if bending is hard to do, you can fix this in a process called gapping. I have a video on this process and I will link it down below in the description. This can be an issue on any harmonica that you buy in any price range, so just keep this in mind. Finally, comb material is another personal preference. I like wood combs, other people like plastic combs, some people like metal combs. Uh, wood combs to me sound a little bit more raspier and bluesier than plastic, which I personally like a little bit more, but they are harder to clean. So you have some options here. Before I get into my list, could you help me and click the like button down below and subscribe for the algorithm? Thanks and let's continue with my recommendations. First on our list is the Honer Special 20. And this harmonica is a standard choice for a reason. They are solid and reliable harps that are very comfortable and airtight at a reasonable price. They have a plastic comb, which means they are super easy to clean. Just run some water through it. If money is not an issue, then you can look into the Rocket or Rocket Amp harmonicas instead. They feel like an upgrade on the design. I like them better, and the Rocket Amp is a little quieter. It's what I would suggest if you want to see what a better Special 20 feels like. If you want to try a woodcomb harmonica, I would get a DeBell Noble.
or splurge and get a Honer crossover, which really has a bamboo comb. Both of these harmonicas are very similar. They feel and sound very nice. I think the crossover is maybe a little bit better. As far as wood comb harmonicas go, I would really just avoid the Honer Marine band because of some comb problems. It swells and it's also constructed with nails, which means you can't take it apart very easily. I've heard that the combs have been fixed over the years, but it hasn't affected any ones that I've bought and somewhat recently. There are just better options at similar price points, so don't be past me and skip the Marine Band. Aside from the crossover, the other premium option is any of the Seidel 1847 harmonicas. Their cheaper Session Steel line are kind of hit and miss, I would avoid them, but the 1847 harps are great if a little bit pricey. Classic is the wood comb, silver is plastic, noble is aluminum, and the lightning is stainless steel. Just note that the steel reeds in these harmonicas will be a little bit harder to bend than the normal phosphor bronze or brass reeds that most other harmonicas use, which could hold you back when learning as a beginner. If you are on a tight budget, I would get the Kongsheng Amazing 20 or the Eastop 008K. Both of these harmonicas are decent. They might have some issues with reliability or comfort. I would rather play a nicer harmonica like a Special 20, but they are half the price. The first step to getting started on your new harp should be getting set up with single notes. So watch this video up here to learn about all the different methods. I'll see you next time. Thanks.